the walking tour. I guess this is the last one. Oh man, this is my program here at Georgia Northwestern Technical College. I came here and it was an empty room. I built this, I designed it, did the layout, all the overhead, everything. Everything you see in these walls, I did. All display case, all projects, students, whatnot. I have a lot of miles here over the years. Projects from my students, uh, gifts I should have said from my students, my old office. I will not miss my office as much as a little gift, a little glass apple. Anyway, I will not miss some things about working on the desk. Um, office meal, two mini meals. Uh, VF2 with the five axis right there. Um, fantastic. We've made a bunch of projects. Little Turner's cubes like that. Um, dice, of course. Dice. Uh, little knickknacks and trinkets. Just always candle holders. Three ST10s. One of them brand new in the back. Clean as a pen. This, this uh, program. We made these little vice handles. We did two small vices for setups and such as that. This program, I'm very proud of. I've been, uh, I've been a lot of programs around the country, and I'm as proud of this one as any. Um, I moved my tables up. These are all student toolbox sets. Gone through them. Um, I moved my tables up. I have marks in the floor and space my table out for my intro class, four drill press, uh, three belt sanders, one two inch, uh, two two inches and one six inch, uh, two bench grinders, horizontal saw, vertical saw, a optical measuring machine for checking parts, a little bit of surface plate and a digital indicator. Um, Oh, my friend David, I'm going to have to get that to him. Hopefully he'll come. They built me a plaque and they put David's name on it. That's pretty funny. I always like stuff like that. Um, a demagnetizer for things. Um, files, student tools, everything else, four manual lathe. All working good, some bearings and some other issues on them. All the projects, all the tooling, everything you think you would ever need to know, it's right here, literally, inside these walls. Um, it can do about any project. Three surface grinders, uh, knockoffs of a Herrig 612. Uh, somebody left the power on this one. And uh, yeah, all new rocks on them. Um, four Chevalier, shovelers, chevalier, however you want to pronounce it, milling machines. Yep. Um, I have a. Nope, I don't see it. Um, let's see here. Oh, my tool crib. I'm as proud of this as anything I've done. Come on, lights. I have organized this. We have lists. If you need to find something, a gauge block that is in cabinet C, drawer one. You look, everything's labeled, numbered, all that's organized. Man, it is the cat's meow. It's going to be a great program, I hope, for somebody that comes in. Uh, all my lathe tooling, everything's here, well supplied with stock, aluminum, non ferrous, drill rod. Stainless steel, all this is mild steel, 1018. Uh, square stock, round stock, all separated. You keep that in very good shape. Um, right here in my classroom, I have dual monitors on all my computers. I have 12, 12 workstations. I have two uh, Haas simulators. I have two 3D printers, manuals, everything else. I I don't know what I'm leaving behind. Uh, there's so much here. I've been doing this a long time. Uh, these monitors, this is for my classroom. It's touch screen. Um, it's supposed to be touch screen, and it is. You see that? Uh, just perfect. I mean, 
It's an absolute joy. I've really enjoyed teaching. This is an MDS station. It's loaded with all of my files. I have to go through all that, make sure it's all in order. And uh, I think that's it. I um, have received lots of money from the Gene Haas Foundation for the students and have very much enjoyed their support. All the toolboxes that are here. Oh, in the back, I forgot to mention a heat treat furnace in the back and a Rockwell hardness tester. Huh. Out back is the uh, out back is the, uh, the the scrap bin, and I think it's just something I hate to leave behind, but it's definitely going to happen. But any questions? Certainly, certainly. I came in. I was a young man. <laughs> I'm leaving an old man. <laughs> All right. Well. I guess this might be the last time I tour the shop like this, but I hope, I hope somebody capable and able will come in behind me and make it even better.